Welcome back, everybody, to Your Suggested Teams. It is Monday. It is Monday, so that means it is Your Suggested Teams. Now, if you're new to this channel, if this is the first video you've ever seen on this channel, you're probably wondering, what is Your Suggested Teams? Well, you're looking at basically what it is. So, if you follow me on Twitter, I, on Sundays, will send out a tweet asking for your best teams that deal around um, with one character. So in this week's, today's, it was all about the new MK11 Scorpion. Want to know your best teams. Um, you guys write, tweet, tweet back at me, leave comments below, and I will pick randomly five of those teams. And you guys check this out. I've had 53, wait, how many comments do I have on this? Hold on, let's go back. 31 freaking comments, 31 comments, um, 31 different teams. So I picked five of those, you guys, that's insane. Completely insane. Um, that's probably the most action I've ever seen on a tweet like this, so I really appreciate it. Again, if you're not following me, please do, because that's the best way I can, um, you know, talk with all of you. But anyways, let's get into it right now, you guys. Thank you, everybody that, that responded to this, and um, wait, stick around, because you might be one of the five. But anyways, here we go. Off to Faction Wars. Faction. Get your armor, get your swords, and not fit to Faction Wars. Faction Wars! Wow. Wow. Everybody, check this out. First, suggest a team coming to us from Devora is Queen. And check this out. This is an awesome fire damage team because uh, obviously MK11 Scorpion's Scorpion. passive deals with fires, devouring flames. And check this out. So he's going to apply fire to three opponents for nine seconds at the start of the match. And when Scorpion tags in, um, the fire damage of times actually stack up together. And you're going to notice that right off the bat against this Ermac team that I'm going to show you here in a second because I have uh, hooked up to MK11 Scorpion Blaze of Life Force. So you're going to actually see two fire emblems on the upper right hand corner showing two separate stacked fire damage over time um, effects going on at the same time. But check this out. This actually looks like a pretty legit team here. Uh, I know it's level 40, but you guys, this is probably the hardest team that I've actually faced um, in Faction Wars since the update. Um, I haven't looked at their uh, gear yet. Obviously, there's nothing on Spectral Armac. And actually, he is only level 32, so maybe not going on, much going on there. Let's see what Pharaoh's got. But the fact that they're all maxed out that does say something. Yeah, they don't have much for equipment. Classic Ermac. He will have Soul Siphon going on. He does have a, a fully fused Shang Tsung Stone. So actually, that's that's not bad. It's not bad. It ain't great either. But um, you'll see here real quick. Spectral Ermac is going to have two damage of time fire emblems going on. And he's just gonna his health is just gonna keep chipping away. That health bar is just gonna go away quicker than quicker than you can even imagine. Devorah's Queen, thank you again for the suggestion. Here we go. Let's get into it. Spectral. There are the two stacked fire icons. He is just killing it so far. Let's see if we can line up one of these crushing blows. Yep, looks like it's going to work. And as you can see on my team, you can see some damage going on. And that is from, uh, obviously, Classic Air Max Soul Siphon. I'm trying to get Kentaro's uh, special or passive to kick, uh, start working. It's Art of the Shokan. And he'll actually do a little stomp. Which will also apply damage and fire. You know what? I take take the bag. Let's just let's just get rid of this Ermac real quick. This will take him out. He is done. Let's get a little gore in here. Fire started again, you guys. And you guys, let's just let's burn him up. His damage, his health might be able to take us. Nope, it won't. It won't, you guys. Yeah, we just crushed that team. So insufficient gear, weapons, and accessories, and then also um, insufficient. Um, leveling up is what I'd call it. So good team though. Good team. Thank you, Devor is Queen. We are off to our second suggest team right now. Everybody, second suggest team coming to us from H2O Justice. He wanted to see MK11 Scorpion. Injustice 2 Raiden and Classic Reptile. Obviously, damage over time with Scorpion. Injustice 2 Raiden siphons the uh, enemy's power. And Classic Reptile just does um, poison um, when some of the opponents tag in and tag out. So killer team. Killer team H2O. Um, here is the, the matchmaking doing its finest work, apparently. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you here. We're going to destroy this team. Absolutely destroy this team. It's only level 37 profile level, so the guy's just starting out. Which makes me wonder, if you are just starting out, are you coming up against teams like mine? With, like, fully fused Faction Wars gear and all that other stuff? I don't know. I'm not sure. But nothing really going on as far as equipment. So, yeah, we're, we're going to destroy We're going to destroy this team pretty quick. So... You know what, I'll just see what the damage over time can do on its own. I'll just block and just see what damage over time will do. It'll probably just be one-hit knockouts, but you guys, regardless, H2O Justice, this team is killer. And it's all, it was a lot of fun to take it through these five fights. 
So here we go. Let's get into the last battle. And uh, yeah, just decimate. Decimate this Kenji, Dark Empress, and I don't remember who the third third opponent was, but doesn't matter. Does not matter. It's gonna get destroyed. Regardless. Regardless. How's everybody doing? So, oh, here we go. Okay, so damage over time. Yep, you can see the health bar just chipping away slowly. He's not even doing anything. Yeah, it's just the aggressiveness of the AI definitely needs to be tweaked a little bit. A little bit. So he, he is now, so let's get this in. I'm actually going to do a little damage now, because the power, power siphon's not going to do any damage. Let's go ahead and knock her out. This should probably knock her out. Oh, yeah. Easily. Just completely decimated. Oh, yeah. Killed her guy. All right. I'll show you one more thing that I'm having problems with. I know you, the tap sensitivity is almost impossible to get 100% now with those taps to attack. You just do not have any luck with that. All right, this might take him out. Even with that, yeah. So just killer team. All too easy, as Classic Reptile's gonna say. Yeah, just all too easy. 100% Classic Reptile. Whoa, what the? This thing's freaking me out. It's like 3D, 3D. Regardless, H2O, thank you again for suggesting you guys. We're going to our third team right now. All right, everybody, third fight in, and this comes to us from Gaming with Kenny. He wanted to see uh, Kung Jin, the one that gives you the bar power. That is obviously going to be Shaolin Kung Jin, Gaming with Kenny, and also Hellspawn Scorpion to get that one and a half bars of power for any martial artist. So MK11 Scorpion is going to start off with his um, number three, which isn't the X-ray. It's Fatal Blow, not the Crushing Blow, Lethal Blow. Oh, man. I should know this by now. I should know this by now. But anyways, we're gonna drop that right away. But first we need to see what Gunslinger your Black has, because if he has anything to drain us, we want to kind of switch that around. He does not, okay. So this shouldn't be a problem. Um, MK11 Jade, Assassin Jade, those two, and a level nine, she's level nine, Assassin Jade. But she's only at, she at 50, is that what she is at? Yeah, still, doesn't matter, you guys. Any level Assassin Jade is going to possibly give you major problems, major problems. So here we go, guys. Let's get into this fight. Game with Kenny. Thanks again for the suggestion. And so far, um, other than one crash, the game crashed on me when I was trying to do uh, Hellspawn's first special, the spear crashed on me. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. But yeah, other than that, um, spend a couple souls, get him back in the fight. It's been working really good. So let's keep going. Again, the the, the matchmaking is a little wonky there, I would call it, but it's looking pretty good. I think we're going to do pretty good here. All right, let's start off real quick. Oh, he did? Did he drain us? I feel like I should be... Should, should have a little bit more than that. Tell you what, let's just get up there. We're almost there. As long as we don't take him out. Here we go. Get over here. Right there, you guys. He should have some eye protection on, I'm just going to say that. It's a good way to get some bloodborne pathogens right in your eyes. That's the perfect way for stuff to get into your system. Through your eyes and mucous membranes, guys. Just a little... So little heads up, in case you're planning on doing that to someone. Maybe we're getting some dodges. What am I talking about? Let's do this. Oh, we caught her, you guys. This is a block breaker. And Jade should know that. This is this is going to take her out. Right. There. There is no escaping. Scorpion draft. Tell you what, let's just take an arrow here. See what it does. One arrow from Kung Jin takes her out. Of course, she wasn't very, wasn't very powerful, but you guys. Check it out. Scorpion? Yeah. Uh, I need a better fin I need a better ender uh, for him. Victory stance for him. But you guys, killer team, game with Kenny. Thank you so much. Off to our fourth team right now. Everyone, we're at our fourth suggested team, and it's coming to us from Bojan MKX. He wants to see uh, or more common eleven scorpion, obviously, Cyrax Triborg, and Hatcher Kung Lao. And basically, he is saying he wants to see these because right now we're all kind of dealing with a low fusion level Mortal Kombat eleven scorpion. Most of us, unless you had three hundred thousand souls to spend and try to get them out of that pack. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm in the same boat, Bojan. I have a fusion level one. But this is a good idea. So we're dealing with critical attack chance here. And look at the specials here. That's what we're dealing with. So assimilation protocol. Um, all tribal characters on your team gain increased critical hit chance for special one attack. And everyone on your team gains plus 50% critical damage. So you're going to see some critical damage coming on there. Just from tribal hat trick Kung Lao. is all about martial artists, if I remember right. Yes, our martial artists teammates deal 50% more critical damage. Um, and he has 25% critical hit chance. So you're going to see some there too. Um, so we'll test out... Oh, I forgot to look at the characters. Ugh. Anyways, there was a fusion level 7 Shao Kahn in there. So, and I think he was level 60 as well. So it's going to be a pretty good fight, Bojan. Thanks again for the suggestion. Um, I will test out Scorpion's first special just to see what we're kind of working with here. I think I got up to like 25,000 
critical damage um, leading up to this, but we'll see. We'll see if we can increase that by just a little bit. See what we can do. As long as this doesn't crash. I mean, here we go. Okay. There is uh, Mournful. And I'll tell you one katana that really came out on top. We're going to see some critical damage here, maybe, with this net. Yeah, 136. Not the craziest, but not bad either. Okay. Let's get Scorpion here. Try to bust up. Melina, that is not good. That's not bad. 18,000. I would have got up to about 100%. Let's see if I can get. Oh, I was trying to get him before he got me. Stunned. Let's see what happens here. Let's drop this. There's 8,000 right there. That's not bad. Yeah, nothing right there. Nothing right there. So not not too crazy. I'll tell you what. Let's see if we can't drop this bomb right on Shao Kahn's head. That's going to do some damage right there, guys. Boom. He is a tough character right there. Cyrax Tribord, you guys. If you have him in your collection, consider yourself lucky. Because he's good. He is awesome with that advanced net he's got right there. Look at there. Jeez. Coming at you. Coming at you. Um, anyways, one katana that came out like a beast in this update is um, Assassin. She is just a Faction Wars wrecking machine now. With her tag in, her chance to evade, um, the, the damage she does on the bleed... Just crazy. Just crazy. One of my favorite new characters to play, by the way. All right, everybody, we're down to the last team. Be right back. Okay, everybody, last suggest team. Coming to us from a long-time subscriber, Shiv. If you're out there, this one's for you. Um, more Combat 11 Scorpion, Tiger Fury Goro, and Cold War Scorpion. He wants to have basically where you're playing with fire the whole entire match, which is what we're going to do. Which is what we're going to do. And I will tell you what, it's really weird. I didn't get the team, or I didn't get Dark Raid in this team, but basically the last four teams that they matched me up with. I had Dark Raiden. I don't know why that is. I think they knew that it was, I had um, like the fire on my side. So they're going to like counter that with a Dark Raiden. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that AI thinks, but it's really weird. But anyways, check this out. Fusion level one. It's working really good, by the way. This team is wrecking, freaking wrecking. My secret weapon, Cold War Scorpion, just that second special. I actually put Moloch's Ball on him just in case I can use it over and over again, you guys. So I got Moloch's Ball on him, but check this out. Um, only stock fusion level one, Dark Emperor Liu Kang, what is he working with? Just some pretty basic equipment there, nothing too crazy. Fully fused, fully fused Inferno Scorpion with just some basic equipment. Now he's level 60, so that's pretty good. Fusion level, uh, fully fused Grandmaster Sub-Zero, so we're going to get that Ice Clone. And then he is only 40, level 49, so not too crazy. We're going to destroy it. We're going to destroy this team. Just trying to figure out, Shiv, who... Who I should drop in first, and how should I take out Grandmaster? That's one thing with Grandmaster. You kind of decide how you want to take him out. Um, can I take him out with Scorpion's Crushing Blow? I think that's how I'm going to try to take him out. When he gets down low on power, I'm going to try to take him out with that Crushing Blow and see how he freezes. Just see how he freezes. And wouldn't that be amazing if it was a hidden? If it was like a hidden, um, hold on, hidden brutality? That'd be freaking amazing. All right, I'm actually gonna get him out of there. Let's do some damage with Gore real quick. Drop fire, uh, flame ball. Boy, that was terrible. Okay, here comes Grandmaster. Let's get him down a little bit. I don't wanna take him out completely. So you know, I'm just gonna tap on, just gonna tap on him a little bit, get him down there. There we go, okay, that might that might be enough. One more tap, there we go. Okay, let's, oh, dang it. Wrong scorpion. Did not want his uh, scorpion tag in. All right, we did some damage there. Now he's gonna, yeah, drop his spear. Luckily, now I need to build some power back up here. I'll just take out this scorpion right here. Which leaves me open to drop my pressure blow right now. Okay. Oh, he's in his ice decoy already. Interesting. Didn't even let me finish my tag. That was interesting. I thought it for sure it would. You know what? What the heck? Let's get the secret weapon out here. Drop this flame shield. Frostburn. That thing, that that special right there is just insane. So Shiv, amazing team as always. Thank you so much for that suggestion. You guys, everyone, everyone that gave me suggestions, thank you so much. I think I had probably the most um, people putting out teams on this tweet as I've ever had. So I really appreciate that. And everyone, let's take a look at what's coming up this week. Because obviously today, Monday, was your suggest teams, which we just did, but check this out. So Aftershock Tremor, I'll probably try to do that on Wednesday. And then we should start seeing the Raiden Trials come out this week. Um, 
That may change. That may change if they fix the Jade Trials, which hopefully they will this week. That might change the the launch date of the Raiden Trials. So maybe they'll redo the Jades. I don't know. Who knows? But expect that on Wednesday. I'll do the Aftershock Tremor Challenge. Um, just probably kind of like a quick video. And then, yeah, that's it for now. That's it for now. And then Friday, stick around because I'll have all the news of the week, which I'm, I think there's another combat cast. I'm not sure, but anyways. That's it, you guys. Thank you again, everybody, and keep watching. And thank you, everybody, for, for watching and subscribing. Bye. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching. If you guys liked what you just saw, make sure you hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button. Or maybe this looks good. Oh my god, you guys, what is this? Oh shit. Or maybe you guys like this. We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, that's my guy. <laughs> Or possibly some of this. Alright, send on a little ride here. Or maybe something like this. Hey guys, I had a crazy night with a girl the other day. You guys wanna hear about it? Okay. Where well, it started just like this, baby. Why don't we go back to the back gate, baby? Back to chill out with some Netflix, baby. Maybe we'll just get back that meal, baby. Shots. What the hell's going on here? Either way, hit that like button.